<sighs> Wake up, Layla, you sleepy head. Savannah, last night, since you were on a date with James, you stayed up all night, um, destroyed James' sleep. Now he has to go on a date with you. And since mom and dad need you to come home, sir, so need you to come home so that they can take away your phone. We had to wait for you until 5 a.m. and none of us could sleep and it's only 10. I slept four, I slept five hours, you know? How rude of you. I bet James doesn't feel as tired as you. You're such a sleepy head, you sloth. <sighs> Savannah, be nice to your siblings. And I'm going to take away your phone for a whole week as a punishment because I never got to take away your phone. You always kept it. You were such a cheater right after I get out of the bathroom. Hey, it's been a real long time since I've seen you guys. Um, So, um, don't you wonder what the bathroom looks like? And what Carlina does all day? Well, um, I just answered your question. Yep, that's what Carlina does every day for the whole day. Roll the toilet paper roll, and sometimes she knocks down the sink. But now you know the most unknown mystery. Now, back to the story. So I scheduled a date with James, so I'm going to go to my date with James. I wonder why Savannah is James' boyfriend, girlfriend. And flashbacks. I'm really lonely. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just really, really lonely. I can be your boyfriend. Thank you! Uh, actually, no, that never happened. Here's what really happened. Being single is the worst. I'm never popular. Wait, was that a guy? Uh, I'm your new girlfriend. <laughs> Where do you live? Do you want to know my address and phone number? Uh... I live in 760 Leanne Street. Hee <laughs> hee, we're twinsies. Yeah, we are. Why are you walking away? I'm your girlfriend. Someone please help me. And my phone number is 707-349. Our phone numbers both have 34 in them. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, are we just meant to be for each other? Yeah, I should get going. To do what? I have a job. Ah! I finally have a boyfriend. Mystery number two is solved. Back to the show. <sighs> James, James, it's time for our date. Mm. Ah! What happened, James? It's Savannah! Why are you running away from me? Ah! What's the first address I can remember? 760 Leanne Street! Ah! Yep, that's right. Um, The Crazelin's house is made out of a TV box. <sighs> Did you escape Savannah? I hope so. James, it's time for our date. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to a romantic restaurant and then have a true love's kiss? Ah! If you're asking, how did Savannah get in there from the wrong side? Well, the truth is, I don't know either. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning, David Weird. Now we go to the bathroom. Such a nice day. Good morning, Layla. Good morning, Troy. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, James. Good morning, Savannah. 
I'll go to the bathroom. Do, 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 do. And good morning, Carlina. Get out of the bathroom. Ah! Why does she always have to be so mean? But I really gotta pee, Carlina. Okay, then pee, but not in the bathroom. Kids, I'm going to the doggy park. James, I'm going to the doggy park. Oh, James, we're just meant to be. James, go save yourself. Don't you love me? I love you too. Yeah, I love you. Ah! James! You did the right thing, dude. Don't you also wonder what takes David all day at the doggy park? Yeah, me too. Let's go find out. I peed, but I don't know what to wipe with. Oh, and yes, there is a monkey, and there's also an elephant, a zebra, and an alligator just to keep the monkey company, and, there, and the monkey has a little banana. It's my lamp. Back to the story. I don't know what to wipe with. I'll go find a squirrel or a leaf. A squirrel or a leaf. I'll go get a squirrel. Now I finally have something to wipe with. Ruff, ruff. Now, should I wipe with its bow tie or should I wipe with the actual dog? Hey, you, do you, do you think you can just come over here and grab my dog? Yeah, but I need something to wipe my butt with. Well, my dog is not for that usage. Give me back my, my poor Cansey. Wait! Guess I gotta wipe with the monkey. So one, um, imagine like that's the sound a monkey makes, and uh, just imagine that the monkey um ran away. I mean, like up the tree. Hey, monkey! Can I wipe with your banana? I'm gonna wipe with the turtle. Whoosh. Imagine the turtle just went super fast. Nothing wants to wipe. Guess I gotta wipe with a leaf. Wait. Imagine the leaves just ran away from David. Guess I gotta wipe with the tree. Or I can wipe with the zebra or the elephant or... Not the alligator, it's gonna eat me. Oh, <sighs> uh, yeah, imagine that. Um, alligators hiss, yeah. A hundred percent normal. I'm just gonna wipe with your trumpet and um, all of the poo and pee will be in your trumpet and you're gonna eat it and breathe it. Um, it, it's no problem, right? So. Oh, come on! One, imagine that's the sound elephants make. And two, um, imagine the elephant just ran away super fast and caused an earthquake. An earthquake. I'm gonna wipe with the zebra. One, imagine that the zebra just ran away super fast. And two, um, yeah, imagine that's the, the normal sound that a zebra says. And, um, what does the banana say? <sighs> Guess I gotta wipe with the alligator. <laughs> yeah, imagine that's the sound the alligator makes. Here goes nothing. Ow, my butt! Yeah, so if you didn't understand, um, the alligator bit, um, David's butt and ran away. Yeah, just imagine the alligator ran away. So I gotta wipe with the grass. No, there's ants on the grass. But I gotta try. Did the grass just run away from me? Imagine the grass ran away from David. The only thing that is guaranteed to not run away from me, is the tree. Ow! I'll go try and find a squirrel. Yay, I found a squirrel to wipe with. Imagine that's a squirrel because it's the only thing I have. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Why did the squirrel have to buy me? And wait, squirrel, I still have to wipe. And this stuff happens all day. So now you know the unknown mystery number two. Yay! Back with the others. <gasps> I'm just going to go tell David something. This is the most amazing day of my life. Mom left the bathroom! Yeah, so basically now we're going to go invade the bathroom.
<laughs> Let's get this party started. Whoa, I'm going to have so much fun in here. Wait, there's an, actually not a lot to do here except poop and pee, brush our teeth, um, roll the paper towel roll, the toilet paper roll, flush the toilet, and wash your hands or anything. This place is boring. Why does mom spend every day in here? Um, what are you doing and what is there to do in the bathroom? I'm peeing. Okay, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to roll the toilet paper roll. What about when I need to wipe? Which is right now. I'm done peeing. Peeing takes two seconds. Um, here you go. Here you go, your piece of paper, and then I can keep rolling. Thanks. Yeah, imagine um the pee w and the pee was already there and I didn't just flush the toilet and then the pee came. Ew, it smells gross. I didn't know I pooped too. I wanted to do something excited, exciting too. I'm gonna flush the toilet. Wow, that was so boring. Why does mom spend all day in here? I've never seen our sink. Our sink is. Cool and weird at the same time. Wait, I have a yellow toothbrush. Dad has a yellow toothbrush. How do we teleport in toothbrushes? Um, Dad has to buy a new one. Dad does, Dad. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm going to have to... That's it? That's the bathroom? Yeah. Uh, There's a toilet and a sink, toilet paper and toothbrushes and... Um, toothpaste. Um, we haven't ever brushed our teeth. We must have like a thousand cavities. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, no. Oh! One, you don't have any cavities, but you do have terrible breath. Let me smell yours. Goodbye, world. I'm, I'm in heaven now. Did Layla die? Of course not. She just died because my breath is terrible. But she died. Yeah. Oh, no. We're under arrest. I don't think Layla actually died. Let me go check. Layla. Layla. It's the world. She's not breathing. Oh, no. We just killed someone. Meanwhile, David, I have something to tell you. Are you wiping with a squirrel? Well, I'm making it let me wipe with it. Hey, hey, ah! Don't bite me, okay? I just want to wipe with you. This is why you take all day to pee? Yeah, why did you, what did you think the reason was? That you had some kind of like pee problem and you always have to go pee. And you pee every single two seconds. Hey, that's so rude. Well, the actual problem is because every single animal that I find to wipe my butt with runs away from me. I can't even wipe with the monkey's banana. The grass runs away from me too. You're a, wee you're a weirdo, um, but I have something to tell you. It's very important. We are having... <gasps> Do you have a problem with it? What's wrong? Why did you scream? Are you afraid of the- It's just that the squirrel bit my butt. And what was the news? I'll tell you after you wipe with the squirrel. Ah! Don't bite me! Guys, I'm home. Hi, Mom. I have no idea where James is. That's your problem. I'll go ask the giant. Hey, giant. Do you know where James is? How would I know? You're supposed to know. You're the giant. You know everything because um, you're really tall and you can see everything. I'm in my house. Uh, okay, yeah, bye. Guys, guys, I want to take your phone away. Come on, I'm home. Okay, found the car. Then move. <gasps> this person left their keys in. Woo! Oh, no. It's fine. We didn't crash. Oh! 
Oh no, we crashed. Where are we going again? I have no idea. Excuse me. Uh, yes. What is your name? Ava Crazelin, Troy Crazelin. Well, you stole a car. Well, that person was pretty dumb to leave their keys in. You stole a very expensive Beetle SL. Oh, that's complicated. It kind of sounds like a bug. Yeah, because a beetle is a bug. And how old are you? I'm 12. I'm 12. That means you're not old enough to be in the front driving without a seatbelt. Wait, are we allowed to drive but with seatbelt? Of course not. And you're being unsupervised. And why are you speeding? Um... Yeah, we definitely don't think we killed our sister. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to go check something. Excuse me. Is this, um, it does, um, Layla Crazelin live here? Yes. Let me go see. Oh, <gasps> she's dead with bad breath. Terrible breath. Ew. You followed me? Yeah. Okay, you're under arrest. We're under arrest? Yes. Come on. Ow! Do you think you can just grab us from our haircuts and just grab us and arrest us? Yes, I do. Come on. Ah! There's quite a lot of people in here. Hi, I'm Violet Magenta. How are you in jail? You're like six. Seven. Yeah, but... We're five years older than you. How are you in jail? Um, yeah, um, so, um, I'm in jail because my name is Violet Magenta, but, um, I don't wear purple. Uh, that's why the cop arrested me. I've been in here for three years. You have it real bad. Yeah, I know. This place sucks because there is no bed. Hi. I'm Shark. I'm a shark. And I'm in jail because I bit someone really hard. They died. Okay. I've been in here for two days. Hi. I'm little. And um, I'm arrested because um, I am little. My name is Little, but um, I'm 81. Uh, so, Violetta and, um, Violetta Magenta and, um, Little, um, don't have very good reasons to be arrested. So, uh, we're in here because, well, the main reason is because, um, we kind of killed our sister. That was her, not me. Yeah, because of my bad breath. And, um... We were speeding in a stolen car, but the person was pretty dumb to leave their keys in the car and drive a roofless car. I guess they were like, this is convenient. I will just hop in my car, grab my keys, and get rolling like nobody else can do that. And we went over the speed limit 100 miles per hour, and, um, yeah... We were driving without a seatbelt in the front, um, and we're 12. Yeah, we're both 12. Wow. So, um, how old are you guys? I already told you. I am seven. And I am Shark. Okay, Shark. Mm. Ava, Troy, we're... Um... Ah! A random dude is peeing! What's the problem? Oh, and you're alive. Oh, well, your siblings are in jail. They must be terrified! <laughs>
You've been in here for three years. And you could have just climbed the wall? Yeah, but I thought about it just now. We could have done that too. Bye, Owen. No, you're too heavy. Fix yourself. Oh, we're free! Woo! So let's do a little time skip for two hours from now. The good news is that I got the squirrel to finally wipe my butt, but it bit me 16 times. So I got some news. <sighs> so for the kids, I'm saying this in the kid way. Um, wait, where's Savannah? <laughs> James ran away from me. Again, where are you coming from, Savannah? The big news is, drum roll please, there will be a fifth sister or brother. I'm going to have a sister? I'm talking to the kids. So uh, basically, um, I'm going to have a baby, like a fifth one. I wonder, how old are you? Uh, actually, that's actually a very smart question, Savannah. I know I'm the best. I'm 40. And I'm 37. Okay, so we're gonna have a sister or a brother. Yeah, yeah, it's totally gonna be a sister. Um, I don't think it's that awesome. Because babies cry, poop, pee, and cry, and sleep. There's nothing wrong with the sleeping part. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, Mom, how do you know this stuff? What do you do in the bathroom all day? I googled it. How does Google know this stuff? I don't know. I just see the search results. And it said maybe, and I take that as a yes. Okay, do you know if it's a girl or a boy? No. That means we might start shopping for a girl and we get a boy? That would be terrible. A whole bunch of waste of money. I think we're guaranteed to get a boy, so um, let's start shopping for boy. A few months later, it's a girl. Oh no, we just started buying for a boy. I thought there was going to be a second boy finally. Guess it's a girl. And now you have to pay me extra for, for bringing me into your house. How do you know if it's a girl? You didn't bring any tools or anything. Yeah, but the color of my of my shirt determines the gender. I'm wearing pink, so um, it's a girl. One hundred percent makes sense, Doc. I'm gonna go on a on a day with James. Bye. Help me. Four months later. So now the baby's gonna be born in two seconds. And yes, I did wear the same thing for four months and never washed it. I smell so much like sweat. How do you know when the baby's gonna be born? Because I said so. Two, one, zero. Now the baby will teleport to me. Three, three two, one. Wait, did you eat a cloth and a rubber band? Yes. You're a weirdo. Can we come in now? Yes, you can indeed. You can indeed. Um, so do you want to give the baby your milk or bottled milk? Uh, bottled milk. Okay. So are there, these, are there still any possibilities that it's actually a boy? No. Wah! Aww, she's so cute. James is going to love her. Can I go... Show James my baby sister? Uh, no. Hey! So, um, Carlina Crazelin, do you have any names? Or David Weir, do you have any names? 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 You don't have names? How about Emma Crazelin? I hate it. Yeah, um, so just go to the office and, um, and, um, and um, just signed the birth certificate. So her name is Emma Crazelin now. What about Emma Weird? Emma Crazelin. So, um, does someone? Oh no, I dropped the baby. Here, grab your baby. Please grab it. 
Here's your baby, and I'm gonna go get the milk. I got the bottle, now I'm gonna grab the baby. Come on, come on. Let me grab you, baby! Here is your baby. Oh no, I dropped the baby again. So, um, here you go, your baby. Go grab the bottle. Here's the bottle, now you have to feed it. That's how you feed the baby. And the baby drinks automatically. Uh, so, think you can master it? Ma'am, I can't feed my baby. That's ridiculous. It's your own baby. I don't have enough articulation. Okay, then find another way to feed it. Is not feeding it an option? If I don't feed it, it won't poop. Yeah, but you can't just let your baby start starve to death. Fine, I'll try to put the bottle in its mouth. I found a way! Wow, your baby is adorable. Yeah, just, like, just, just, please stop feeding it like that. You need to grab it gently with care and gentleness. It's a newborn baby. Okay, j I can just, like, I can't find a way to feed my baby. Okay, ma'am. If you can't feed your baby bottled milk, feed it your own milk. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on, just feed it your own milk. It's not so much trouble. We're bored. Uh, n no, your baby sister is so entertaining. Watch your baby sister. You're not going anywhere. This is a very important event. Oh, yeah, our sister is so entertaining. Wait, no, 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 no. Ew, ew, feed it the bottled milk. Okay, you're gonna need some help, so, um, you, Savannah, feed the baby the bottled milk because you have... This arm, like, bended. The only thing I can do is put the milk in its eyeball and wait it and wait for it to, um, go into its, its mouth. Well, yeah, keep squeezing the milk in the eyeball. Maybe we can help. I want to see my sister close up, too. Get out of the way, nurse. Give me your... I dropped my sister. I dropped the baby. I'll feed it on the floor. I figured out a way to feed the baby. Great idea, Troy. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you here. Goodbye. Oh, and, um, I'm just gonna take the baby and your parents to the office, um, to sign the birth certificate. Hello, um, I'm here for signing the birth certificate. My baby's name is Emma. Um, no, men go first. And, uh, yeah, and we, uh, we need name requests and for me to accept them and for me to see if your baby's face fits the name. That's a bit complicated for a baby name. Well, it's the rules. <gasps> And if you don't agree to my name choice, uh, you're under arrest. I'm a cop. Way too much trouble for a baby name. David, please grab your child and leave the room, Cardelina. Um, we are going to talk about and discuss some names. And, and it's going to take like about just five hours. So much trouble for a baby name. Okay, hello, my name is David Crazelin Weird. Well, David Weird Crazelin, but now I'm Mr. Crazelin. Yes, yeah, so what name do you request to give your child? Um, I know Carlina had one, or Savannah. Uh, how about Carly David Jr. Now let me view your child to see if they ha if it has a name of Carly uh, of Carly David Jr. Hmm. Hmm. No, I am sorry. I cannot accept your request to name your child Carly David Jr. It is invalid to the child's appearance. Oh man. Is Polly an option? Anything that slightly sounds like Poppy is an, is an option, but preferably Poppy. I like Poppy David Jr. Thank you, Elka. Now you can ask Carlina. Wait, wait. I never said you can name the baby Poppy David Jr. Hello, I have a request for a name 
for um her. Yeah. Um my name is Carolina Crazelin. So yeah. I want my baby's name to be Oh no. Oh no. Let me think. Hmm. I must look the baby in the eyes. Hmm. I am sorry. Oh no does not suit the baby. Okay. Uh, I don't want to name the baby. Oh no. I want to name it something else. Uh, I just dropped the baby and I said, oh no. Can we name the baby Emmy? Hmm. Sorry. Invalid. Poppy? Invalid. Sohari? Invalid. Come on. I heard you say those names. Uh, yeah, I totally didn't. Um, so, um, what is your child's name going to be? Emily? Uh, no. Emma? Emma? Let me look at your child. Here is my child. Hmm. Your child? Um, 30% looks like an Emma. I'm gonna, since this is your first child, I'm gonna let this slide. Yeah, totally first, totally not fifth. Goodbye. I'm home. The baby's name is now Emma. Aw, dang it, I wanted Ohio. I wanted Zianna. Zianna, sorry. I wanted a boy named... Trevor, if it, would you name this baby Tracy? Uh, I, uh, no. Okay, so I know this sounds really, really weird. <sighs> but, but let's do a little time skip to 40 years from now. Um, where, um, where Emma is four, but the rest of the characters stay the same age. Yeah, please pretend it's normal. Yeah, I know it's weird. Mom, I can't find anywhere to sleep. Give me a bed or something. I told you to go find a comfortable spot in the sink. There is no comfortable spot in the sink. It's all uncomfortable. Can I have a bed like Sissy? Fine, tell Troy or Ava to shovel Troy or Layla to shove over and um, like you sleep. Or you can go sleep in the sink. Layla, shove over so I can sleep in your bed. No, don't bother me. I'm sleeping. You're talking to me. You're not sleeping. Yes, I am. Then how do you know what to say to me? And how do you hear me? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping, okay? Troy, no. Hey, Ava, you're awake. Can you let me sleep? Um, there isn't a lot of space. But, um, can't you go find a comfortable spot in the sink? There is no comfortable spot in the sink. And I'm going to sleep right now. Ugh. Savannah, sissy. Oh, what do you need, little sis? Can, can I sleep in your bed? Um, isn't there like a really comfortable spot in the sink? Didn't you love that place? I don't like sleeping in the sink. Yes, by sleeping in the sink, literally sleeping in the sink because they don't have an extra bed. I can't sleep. But how do you know if the, if the um, sink isn't comfortable if you never tried it before? Yes, I have. But I never end up spending the night or sleeping. So I just come here and tell mommy and mommy tells me to ask daddy. And I always end up negotiating to sleep in dad's bed. Well, um, why can't you do that now? Um, yeah. Daddy, I can't sleep in the sink. It's really uncomfortable. <sighs> See? Fine, I'll make some space. Yay! Shut up, I'm sleeping. Ignore her, she's the worst. This sure was a long episode. So, um, see you in the next Cradlin episode. This is the narrator. Everything by Sonic Moon. Kawaii Pizza Industries. Everything by Sonic Moon. Sarah May doesn't fit in her bad productions. And bye. Hope you enjoy.